<laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to our panel discussion. Um, my name is Kate Renan. I use she, her pronouns. I work for the National Gallery of Ireland. I'm the Tourist Talks Training and Interpretation Officer in the Education Department. And today I'm going to be talking with James. Do you want to my start? name is James and my pronouns are they he. Um, my name is Victoria and my pronouns are she, they. My name is Beth, my pronouns are they, them. Perfect. So our first question is, why did you all sign up to the Like Minded Project? I signed up because a friend told me about it, actually. So not with school, but I was in sixth year at the time and had gone through fourth year, but that bronze didn't really work out. And also I wanted to like have an opportunity to make some art with like minded people and that it was going to be seen and the community of it because at the time I didn't get to really have anybody that was in the community of actually wanting to make art and so that's how I got involved and been here ever since. So I got involved uh, with Gashka and with Like Minded as part of school because um, in TY everyone's encouraged to do their bronze award but obviously we were like living with COVID so trying to find something for like your community aspect of it was quite hard and our pal kind of came up to a few of us and was kind of like so there's this group it's online um, it's for creative individuals was how she phrased <laughs> it and I was like that's smart um, and we were kind of like yeah sign us up so then we bopped along to the first meeting and we were like we're staying we're staying <laughs> and then um, yes, yeah, so I got involved in Like Minded um, because I had done my bronze award in fourth year in school and I, there wasn't really a place in my secondary school to do our silver award, uh, there wasn't really a lot of uptake um, and like I really wanted to do my silver so when the wonderful Marion came in to belong to one day and kind of pitched this group to us and um, she even kind of phrases like we don't really know what it's going to be but like the group of um, like queer young people uh, doing their goshka, so I, I decided to go along. I went along to the first meeting and been there ever since. What do you guys feel were the best things about working artistically as part of your goshka journey? Um, well, I think as part of the exhibition for uh, the National Gallery, there were a lot of like difficult themes kind of talked about and things like working artistically and uh, was a really great outlet for that because it meant we didn't have to, we didn't have to learn how to kind of articulate all the feelings like ourselves we could put it into our art and we could kind of educate and inform people that way and so it was a little bit easier to put a little bit of the pressure off us and because we wanted really desperately to tell our own stories but that can be really difficult um so kind of working artistically let us do that in kind of like maybe a slightly easier way mm. um so and it also gave us a lot of freedom um to kind of express not just our own stories but also like our interests and our abilities as well we got to kind of do what we were interested in and what we were good at so mm. it, it was really lovely yeah and I think a lot of that came across in the variety of works as well like it was across all different artistic platforms which is incredible and mm. um, Victoria um so I think the benefits of working artistically was as Beth said it was kind of just an outlet for everything because you know there's a lot of pressure when you come out to be like okay what are your labels what are your pronouns but it was just kind of like I don't know who I am and that's okay but Sometimes the artwork kind of helped me figure it out. Like to, at the beginning of the project, I was like, I am staunchly bisexual. And then around Christmas time, I was like, am I? <laughs> but it was, it was really nice because it was a nice outlet as well because online school was like kind of winding down but also building up at the same time. Mm. So it was just kind of like, oh, I'm going to just do, in my case, just do some origami hearts, de-stress, and then kind of to see it all come, like, come together at the end in the gallery was just kind of like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely had a wow factor. Uh, and James? Yeah, so working artistically for me was great because of the community aspect of it. Um, we were all in it together and we all wanted to be there as well. We had the opportunity to work in our own mediums and also the safety of knowing that we were all queer or allies, basically. And like um, Victoria said, it was a case of, on our Zoom meetings, every week you just come in and some people's pronouns would change, some people's pronouns stay the same, and that was all safe and chill, and um, really allowed me to feel safe in the work that I was trying to create, and um, yeah, that was important because I needed to feel safe with the subjects that we dealt with. Felt like cared for, yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. So that was a great professional experience. Yeah, there's a great sense of collaboration between, even though everyone was working in different mediums and different processes, and in a lot of times different parts of the country, the collaboration still in those Zoom meetings and then eventually in person uh, was incredible. So what was it like undertaking your goshka with like-minded peers? I think it gave, for me, it really gave me a sense of community. It was kind of like, okay, I'm not in this big bad project alone. You know, there are people like me, like because I joined the group with some people from our school. So like, okay, I knew them. But then meeting all the other people was like, wow, okay, so it's not just me and these five or six other people. There's a group of us and I'm going to be supported. And I could not have been more supportive. That's a lot of supported, but yeah. Um, it was just kind of like every Thursday, it was just kind of like, oh my God, it's so good to see you. And it was like, oh my God, hi, you know? And it was just kind of like, yeah, I belong. So it was, it was really nice. Perfect. And Beth? Um, well, for me, like it was... The, the group, the, the community that we created, like very, very quickly from that first meeting, like I didn't know anybody going in, very, very quickly we all got really close and we were all um, like really good friends outside of the group and we, the, like the facilitators of the group, you, Jer and Marion, like they absolutely went out of their way to create a safe space for us, did absolutely everything they could to make sure we were comfortable and the, like we got what we needed. And it wasn't, it wasn't just about the work we were creating. It wasn't just about getting our Goshka Awards. It was like creating a, a space where like we were safe. And a lot of us were like, we were all young people. We were, I was only what, 16, 17 at the time. Like I didn't have that space outside of that group. As James said earlier, there was uh, like people's pronouns changed as we went along. People's names changed as we went along. And it was always just taken in stride. It was never a big deal. It was never something that was like pointed out. It was just people were just comfortable and free to do what they wanted in that group. And it was like a whole community. And it was, it was really lovely. Oh, <laughs> uh, James? <laughs> um, yeah, I think as well, yeah, the safety in, in groups like this is really something that's valuable. And I know it sounds kind of boring or official like what do I mean with safety but um, it's like it's everything really when you don't have uh, that support network in school or even I know in some people's cases from like home life uh, difficult home life uh, I didn't have the easiest and going to the group even virtually every week was a great relief for me mm. and that was the the big difference and it's, it's amazing, I feel like creating that safe space and that safety then let the Gashka journey sort of flow really nicely. It all sort of came together quite naturally and you guys worked really hard at it, obviously. Um, but it meant that that was just consistently like embedded underneath it the whole time, uh, which made it a whole lot of fun. <laughs> um, so for anybody listening in who supports LGBTI plus young people, uh, why would you encourage them to use Gashka? Yeah, I definitely encourage... Uh, for people listening in to use Gashka because it is just so robust. It's oriented towards you and what you want to do. It's really not a set program or you have to do a certain type of art in, in our case. <laughs> uh, like you must do fine art is what they used to <laughs> roar in uh, school for art and coming to go and coming to do um, what I wanted to do with the like-minded group, which was filmmaking and videos, was just such a relief to finally have a format or, or medium, a group. <laughs> I mean, I say you did a great job filming that in the National Gallery that day. It was like a day and a half, ah. and you absolutely knocked it out of the park. I was like, oh, James, director, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> James, Incredible. director, and yeah, getting to getting the opportunity to shine um, was <laughs> actually life-changing. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, so that's my experience, yeah. Victoria? Sure. Um, like James said, I'd say using Gashka is probably one of the best ways to go about it, just because, it, as James said, it was so robust. You know, there wasn't a set program. It's not like, okay, for this, you have to like do cooking. For this, you have to learn French. And for this, you have to like make a Lego portrait of yourself. It was kind of like, <laughs> oh. you can cook, or you can dance, or you can crochet or you can learn French, German, Hindi, Hebrew, like anything you wanted, Gashka like supported you with, mm. which was so lovely. And then just even within our group, it was kind of like, 
I was thinking of doing this artwork. And then next you'd be like, no, I have a completely new idea. <laughs> yeah. And everyone would be like, that is so good. Oh my God, go for it. So it's really robust, but it's also really flexible. Like if you miss a meeting, it's like not a big deal. They catch you up and you're kind of like, okay, I haven't fallen like 6,000 meters behind. I'm just, I'm, I'm still up to date. So it was really, really, really good. And I think there was, there was a good few people during the whole run of the kind of both phases of it, I guess, that were doing, you know, leaving cert exams or college exams or junior cert exams, whatever it might have been. And we just knew, okay, for those months, we won't, we won't hassle, we won't fuss, we won't do anything. Because then by the time they're ready to come back, We'll get it all sorted. It'll be absolutely no problem, which I think definitely <laughs> helped you guys. There's a lot of like, oh Lord, at certain points. So yeah, I think it balanced out. And um, Beth? Uh, yeah, so I think just the Goshka program is like super, super adaptable to like the people that are completing it. So like when I did my bronze, I did it in school. It looked completely different to what I did for my silver. Um, it's completely like interest led. So like what you want to do, you like run with it, you know, mm. like you get like, I did crochet, I, you know, like, nobody else wanted to do crochet, but I got to do it as part of my gosh, because that's what I was interested in. It's not a case of, like, this is a really strict deadline, you must have everything done, you know, like, it's kind of, um, it's understandable that, like, life happens, exams happen, you know, a global pandemic happens, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, the things run, things can run on a completely different timeline than what you thought they were going to, so you can do what you're interested in, and, like, there's a super flexible timeline and all, which is really nice, oh, so there isn't the, like, pressure of, of it. So. Yeah, and the Goshka leaders want you to succeed, like, yeah. that's, like, the Goshka leaders here, and then also the pals, like, our, our goal is to, we want everyone yeah. to do really well, whatever the really well or the success looks like to them, that's what we want to have. Yeah. Um, so has being involved in like-minded changed you guys in any way? And if so, how specifically? Um, absolutely. <laughs> um, when I walked into the first uh, meeting, all the way back in March 2019, um, I was quiet, I was shy, and I don't think anyone would, would describe me as quiet now. <laughs> um, and as well as that, I've, I've talked at different events, and different videos, different things about like-minded and a better exhibition. And, giving us that voice as young people was really important and like has definitely given me way more confidence and like allowed me to take up space like I can that like we deserve to have our story told by us and like that's I didn't even know that before you know like yeah. it was it, that's really lovely that we were all like supported and like encouraged to do that and yeah. um, so I think I have way more confidence and as well I've a whole new group of friends and <laughs> wonders for me amazing yeah absolutely Victoria um, as cheesy as it might sound, I've definitely become more like a more well-rounded person. Like, I, 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 I thought I was familiar with like all the terminology, but then people were coming in being like, oh, I'm this and that. And I was like, I have to go and look up what that means. <laughs> so now I'm kind of like, I'm aware of not everything, but a lot of things that are out there more than I was. So I'm more understanding and compassionate to people now. I'm kind of like, I see you. I acknowledge what you're going through. I'll help you as best I can. But then also, as Beth said, the confidence that it's given me. Like hosting the opening of the exhibition, I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> and then the camera came on, and my hands were literally like this. I'm. I apologize if you could hear the paper like shaking nope, over the zoom. It was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was there, and I was kind of like, you know what? I did this. I earned this. And to host it on behalf of everyone who was there, I was kind of like, wow. I was kind of like, I'm a completely different person to when I started this like seven, eight months ago. It's kind of like. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, just looking back, I was like, wow, I was different. And I was just kind of like, yeah. Nice. And there's yeah. more to come. So. Yeah, exactly. And James? Um, yes, like Victoria and Beth said, um, confidence is the main one for me. Like, I would have uh, had nobody really, like, had a difficult enough time in school communicating and, and keeping up social circles anyway. And was start, kind of starting to think, oh, maybe this is it for me. And then um, slowly, uh, but surely, as part of this group, I found out that actually uh, about confidence, realizing how much uh, people who are in the exact same position as you don't know about what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't know what they're doing just as much as you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> And it's great because you can be together and say, oh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. Let's do it anyway. And we survived. <laughs> we get through it. And we learn for the next time. And that lesson has really made a difference for me and is uh, still taking me places now through college, through everything. 
Um, so thank you guys very much, Beth, Victoria and James, for answering my questions and for being involved uh, and for showing off the amazing like-minded merch as well. That was uh, very, very special. Um, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you very much. Cool. Yeah. <laughs>